Yeah, hi there guys, it's Ben Sterling here, uh, MKS Team Driver. Um, at the recent World's Warm-Up event in Las Vegas, I had a lot of the MKS drivers come up and ask me some questions about how I fix my servo horns to the, the servo spine itself. Um, as some of you may know, that the X6 servos in the, the MKS range come with a 2.5mm mounting screw for the servo horn. Um, I actually tapped mine out to a 3mm servo screw so that way you can use a normal screw to hold the, the servo horns on um, which is a bit easier too and you get a stronger fix as well um, so I thought I'd do up a little bit of a video on how I do it um, it's quite simple really uh, there's no drilling needed you don't need to drill that out to any other size you just leave this, the thread that's in there at the 2.5 mil size um, but what I do is I use the, the plastic star servo horn that comes with the, the servos um, I just drill the center hole out to um, 3.5 mil just to give it a bit of clearance for when you're doing the tap through and I'll put that on there just so it holds the servo gear solid so you actually don't force the, the, the strain of the um, tap through the gears of the servo so you don't do any damage internally into the servo itself. So what I'll do is I'll push that on like so, leave that like that. Now with the tap, um, I just use a um, an Allen key handle and just use that instead of the the normal Allen key tip. Um, now it's a, a tapered tapered um, tap at the end, so make sure you get that one. So that way you don't have the flat top. Um, that way it'll cut into the the standard thread um, a lot easier, um, and that way you can just uh, work yourself into it and just do it bit by bit until you get all the way to the bottom until it stops and don't force it any further um, otherwise you can risk snapping the tap off into the top of the servo gear and then yeah obviously you're up for either new gears or a new servo so let's give it a crack so just basically start you'll feel it start to bite in instantly so just keep going just go back and forth a little bit as you can feel it cutting in just to clear the, th the threads keep on going You can see some of the schwarf is starting to come out now. Just keep going until you go all the way to the bottom. And always going forward and backwards just to make sure you keep clearing the thread out. Okay, I think we're at the bottom now. Yep, so that's stopped. So then you keep wiggling it all the way forward and backwards all the way out. screw and now we come so as you can see all the metal on the tip there and the servo horns full of it as well so we'll take that back off put that to the side give it a blowout so as you can see it's now three mil I'll just grab a three mil screw just to make sure it's all nice and clean in there beautiful and it's like a bought one I uh, hope this helps guys. Uh, any other questions with these servos? I've been running these since the very first prototype stage. Um, great servos. I've never ever had one fail. Um, they've got a great heat sink due to the alloy case. Um, I run the, the 575 for throttle and brake in my gas buggies. And I run the HBL 599 uh, for the steering um, as well as in truggy as well. They've got plenty of grunt. Uh, they won't, won't overheat on you. They last the one hour main finals, no worries. Um, so yeah, any more questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks guys.